where to enter the tax forms 1098 E, T or C in IRS. Hello everyone, this is Neha from Create, Login and Delete and today in this video I'm going to talk about on where can you actually enter the tax forms 1098 E, T or C. So the IRS does not provide a specific online platform for individual taxpayers to directly enter the tax forms like 1098 E, 1098 D, 1098C on their website. Instead, you would typically use the tax preparation software or hire a tax professional to assist you with filing your tax return. If you're using a tax preparation software such as TurboTax, HNR Block, TaxAct, etc., the software will guide you through the process of entering information from these forms. So here is the general instruction for entering the information from each form. Form 1098E Student Loan Interest Statement Generally, the information from the Form 1098E is entered on your Federal Tax Return Form 1040. Look for the section related to the student loan interest. Most tax software will have a dedicated section for the education-related expenses and deductions. The student loan interest deduction is typically reported on Line 20A of Form 1040, Form 1098T Tuition Statement. Information from the Form 1098-T is used to claim the education-related tax credits. In most tax software, there will be a section for education credits, example, American Opportunity Credit, Lifetime Learning Credit, and enter the relevant information from the Form 1098-T in this section. The education credits are usually reported on Form 8863. Now, Form 1098-C, Contributions of Motor Vehicles, Boats, and Airplanes. If you have Form 1098C related to the charitable contribution of the motor vehicle, boat, or airplane, you may need to enter this information in the charitable contribution section of your tax return. The exact location can vary based on the tax software you're using, but there should be a section for the charitable contributions or donations. Remember that the tax laws and forms may change, so it's important to consult the latest IRS publications, instructions, or seek guidance from a tax professional for the most accurate and current information related to the tax year 2024. If you're using a tax preparation software, it should provide step-by-step -step instructions for entering the information from these forms. Always review your completed tax return before filing to ensure accuracy and completeness. This is how you can enter tax forms 1098E, D or C in IRS. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to the channel for more amazing contents. Thank you. See you in the next video.